Hello everybody, this is Mike Graff with Core Sound Pads and today we're going to walk you through how you can use our pads in your worship service quickly, easily, with a little app called OnSong for your iOS devices. OnSong is a great app. I'm sure you've heard about this. Uh, OnSong is an app that uh, allows you to use your chord charts on your iPad. It does cost, I believe, $19.99 uh, for the app. But for those of you who think $20 is a lot of money for an app, uh, it does a great job. There's a lot of different features you can do with it. You can uh, remotely trigger these charts for other people on your worship team. Uh, you can use any type of Bluetooth uh, foot pedal device to change songs, which is a really cool feature, and a bunch of other stuff. Plus, you know, we, I, I love Planning Center's Music Stand app as well, but that's a subscription service. It's $5 a month. So anyway, there's, there's my little plug for OnSung. It's a great app if you want to use your iPad to have your chord charts in front of you at church, but it's also great because you can embed music into it, such as our pads, core sound pads, and you can also use OnSong to crossfade between the pads in between songs. It does a real nice gentle job of that. So that being said, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through quickly how to do all of these things. We're basically going to start from scratch with OnSung. We're going to create a quick little set. We're going to add pads to those songs and uh, then we're, we're going to go live with it. So here we go. We're going to open up OnSung right here. And uh, this is what you will see when you download OnSong for the first time. Just a little welcome to OnSong. What we're going to do is we're going to build a three song set. We're then going to attach a different core sound pad to each of the three songs. And we'll show you how easy it is to have those songs triggered um, without you having to do anything at all. It'll just trigger when you pull up the chord chart, which is great. Okay, what we're looking at is the main screen for OnSong. You'll see a bunch of different options along the top of the screen, and we're not going to hit on too many of them today, though you are free to explore all of those different options. What I wanna show you is how easy it is to build a set list for your worship service and also how easy it is to attach core sound pads to it. Uh, we do have a lot of people who use this app already and I wanted to show the rest of you just how easy it is uh, if you wanted to use this as an option. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to build some songs. I'm gonna go over to songs here and uh, as you click on that, as you can see, there are different options on the bottom, uh, all songs by artist, by topic, my sets, all of that. We don't have any songs currently in our song base, just this demo, uh, Welcome to On Song. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this plus button down in the uh, in the bottom right corner of this drop down window and what you can do there are different ways you can do this if you just wanted to build dummy songs which is what i've seen some people do it is quite easy to just build a dummy song and i'll even just title it uh fummy <laughs> i'll just title it dummy song and if you are not using your iPad to do chord charts, you are just using it to trigger these worship pads and you wanted to use OnSong to do the crossfading and all of that, this would be a decent option. When you pull up Dummy Song, uh, it just shows it right there. And, uh, and all of the same rules that I'm going to state on everything else would apply to this. But for the sake of actually using on song to do uh, to do a little bit more than just run the pads. We're actually going to have it do our chord charts as well. We'll use real chord charts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and hit plus button again. Uh, I use Dropbox for just about everything, and OnSong lets you connect your Dropbox account to the app, which makes everything super easy just to, to fly through. So what you'll see, uh, it, the first time you hit the Dropbox button, it'll ask you to connect, so you enter in your email and your password. But then at this point, what you're going to do is uh, navigate to wherever you have your chord charts. So I'm going to open up my my church folder, open up song lists, and I just built a simple little folder called On Song Charts. And there they are. There's the three songs I want in my set. They are in alphabetical order. You can click on them one by one 
just like that. Or you can hit this select all button at the bottom and just hit the import button. These are small files. It should fly through that fairly quickly. Boom. There we go. So uh, if I go back here, uh, what you will see, uh, let's see, click on all songs. There we go. Here are all of my songs, 10,000 Reasons, Here Now, uh, and Lamb of God. What we're going to do is we're just going to build a set list, a simple little set list for a worship service coming up here. So if I click on my sets, you'll see that there are no sets currently, but it says, hey, tap the plus button and you can add a new set. You can title it whatever you'd like. Uh, it's probably easy enough just to title it whatever date the set list. And let's say we're planning way way out into the future because we are proactive like that uh, okay so april 13th 2030 it also says uh now that there uh is a set titled april 13th 2030 but there are no songs in it so once again tap this little plus button and it pulls up your list of all your songs why don't we just add all three of those songs, hit done. Uh, I should mention that once you add songs to your song list on Onsung, they will be in there uh, for good. So you don't have to import a bunch of new stuff every time. Onsung will hold the data in the app so that you only have to import this stuff once. But I wanted to show you how simple it was to import it from the ground up and to do that. So here's our set, 10,000 Reasons, Here Now, Lamb of God. Now, I, I like those three songs, but they're not in the exact order I want them in. I want to switch the top two songs, so I'm going to hit this Edit button, and then I'm just going to flip that song up to the top, hit Done, and boom. If I uh, just click on the main screen or click on Songs just to get out of that, and, uh, and if you tap the screen once more, uh, the menu bar will disappear. What you will see is my first song, Here Now, Madness. Uh, if you swipe, you'll see 10,000 Reasons, just like that. And if you swipe again, you will see the Lamb of God, just like that. Wonderful. Everything's looking good. Uh, what I won't go into is how you can use a foot pedal to, uh, to change pages. You can auto scroll. Uh, you can do a lot of fancy stuff here. Uh, we're not going to get into any of that. I just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like to get a simple setup here and also to import pads. So I'm going to tap on the screen one more time to bring our menu back down. Uh, we do have our chord charts and everything looks good, but what we don't have yet are any pads attached to these songs. And like I said, what we're going to do is we are going to set this up not only so that your pads can play through this app, but also that they will auto play through this app. They will auto crossfade and uh, it's pretty smooth. So as you can see down in the lower right hand corner, there are four symbols and one of those symbols looks like a play button. Uh, what I'm going to do, and there are multiple ways you can do this, but I'm going to do a long press on the play button and it is going to bring up this opportunity to choose tracks. And uh, what I've already done is, uh, is I have imported uh, the track that I want uh, for this song. Um, but if let's say that, uh, that I haven't done that yet, you just hit this choose custom track. And now you have options uh, to import from iTunes, to import from Onsung, or to import from Spotify. Importing from your iTunes music library means that you can import anything that you have already transferred to your iPad through the iTunes app, of course, on your computer. But this Onsung Media Library is another great option because what you don't have to do is actually put the pads on your device before you open Onsung. If you go into the Onsung Library, you can actually navigate to Dropbox uh, right through the Onsung app and you can import that stuff directly. So I'm going to show you how to do it both ways, to show you how to do it through the iTunes Music Library and also through the Onsung Media Library. For Here Now Madness, uh, I have uh, my Guitar Sky pads in the iTunes Library. So I tapped on iTunes, I'm going to tap on Albums. Uh, let's say I really want Guitar Sky for this song and the key of D. So I do that. Uh, yep, I want to change the duration of the song to the length of the pad so that the song doesn't cut that off and poof there we go we have a track attached to hear no madness so this song when i press play in this bottom corner uh, this is going to play the guitar sky pad when we are on the chord chart for hear no madness so uh, that is great we're gonna set up the next song as well we'll kind of fly through this now that you guys know uh, what's going on. So I'm going to do a long press here. 
And it, as you see, I've already linked uh, orchestral strings to this, but I'm going to go through the process again and show you how easy it is. Uh, tap on iTunes library, uh, tap on albums. I want to add orchestral strings in the key of F to 10,000 reasons. Uh, when it says uh, change song, would you like to change this song's tempo and duration? I hit yes. There we go. And that song is now linked and everything is looking good. Uh, the last thing that we're going to do here is the last song, Lamb of God. And what I do want to show you is how easy it is to import uh, these songs directly from your Dropbox account. So instead of clicking on iTunes Music, I'm going to click on Onsong Media. And then I'm going to hit the plus button. And I'm going to hit Dropbox. And I'm going to navigate to the folder that I have my pads in. Down here to pads. Uh, we're going to go with Warm Serene for this one. And the song is in the key of A, so I'm going to select the A file and you hit import. Uh, now you get a good strong internet connection and you will just import these one by one. Uh, you know, the MP3s are, um, are not a huge file size, but they are 20 minute pad MP3s. So you will need to wait just a little bit, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's downloading fairly quickly. All right, we are almost done downloading our Warm Serene Pad from our Dropbox account. That was super easy. Again, uh, it's nice that you don't have to transfer the pads from your computer to the iPad before you use this option. You can just have them on your computer in your Dropbox account and access them through the Onsung app with your Dropbox account. So there it is, uh, Warm Serene. I'm going to open up that album. I'm going to select the A key, the only one that I've transferred over. And again, like I mentioned before, uh, once you transfer these things over from Dropbox, you're only going to need to do it once. So now that warm serene pad in the key of A will always be in my library, which is great. I can access that whenever I want. Um, again, I'll hit yes. All right, there we go. We have created a beautiful uh, three song set list starting from the beginning. Here now madness, 10,000 reasons and Lamb of God. And if you were to do a long tap on the play button in the corner, you would see in every one of them that we have Guitar Sky in D linked to Hear Now Madness in D. We have 10,000 reasons in F, so uh, orchestral strings in F for that. And we also have uh, Lamb of God in A, so we linked Warm Serene in A to that one. So uh, as you can see, if you were to just press play, then you have that beautiful core sound pad supporting your worship team sound, uh, filling in the gaps, uh, smoothing out transitions, killing your dead space, doing exactly what it's supposed to do. But I can tell you this, that not only will Onsong have those pads attached to each song, but you can have those pads automatically play for you. Uh, this is a simple, simple little hack. Uh, I'm going to go to the first song, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this settings button, the gear icon in the top right, go to settings, and there are two settings uh, that we're going to change. We're going to go to live settings here and, uh, and click on audio playback and what you want to do is you want to turn on crossfade between tracks as you see right there and we will put the slowest crossfade that Onsung has made available to us it's it's within about three seconds or so personally I like uh, crossfades or fade in fade out uh, that are even longer than that but uh, but this is great that it gives you an automatic option to do so so what you want to do is turn on crossfading and then you also want to go to navigation settings click on triggers and when you click on song change trigger you want when the song is changed for the audio to automatically be triggered as well so 
uh, what we will do is we will, there we go, we have now officially turned on all the triggers and all the crossfading that we need. So, here now madness is now playing and you can hear uh, the pad play uh, in the correct key, which is wonderful. Uh, we have fade in and fade out also turned on. So uh, so as you'll notice, when, when you first just go to your chart, all of a sudden the pad is on, which is like, oh, hey, the pad is on. All right. Uh, all you do is you tap the button down there and it will do a gentle fade out. And when you tap the button again, it will do a gentle fade in. Which is lovely. We are grateful for that. Now, here's the cool thing is that when you swipe over to your next song or when you use a foot pedal to change the pages to your next song, you will hear the pad in the key of D for here now fade out and you will hear the pad in the key of F, 10,000 reasons, fade in which is just super smooth. So you're not in need of, of hitting any buttons, any extra things like that. It's just gonna do all the work for you. Uh, when you're done with 10,000 Reasons, you swipe to Lamb of God and you hear the F pad fade out for the end of 10,000 Reasons and you hear the A pad fade in for Lamb of God. And the only time that you will ever even need to hit the pause or stop button is once you get to your last song, you hit pause and you'll hear it do a gentle fade and you will have a complete fade control over your entire set. Uh, like I said, this is just such an easy thing to do. Uh, if you're one who uses your iPad for chord charts and you also want to use not just the same device but the same app to run your pads, uh, Onsung is a great option, especially if you have a Dropbox account. Uh, but even if you don't, if you transfer your pads to your device through iTunes, this gives you some great options with crossfading, with auto triggering that will allow you to add core sound pads to your worship service pretty simply. And again, uh, one thing to remember is that once you've imported your chord charts, once you've imported the pads, you don't have to do it all over again next time. They'll all be in your library and you'll be able to build sets really fast. Uh, Onsung is a great app. Like I said, there's plenty of other features that we haven't even begun to touch on. You can go to onsungapp.com and learn about all the great things that it does. Uh, the app is $19.99. Uh, it's definitely worth the price of admission for what it does. So thanks again. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. Uh, leave a comment if you want anything else clarified. And we are grateful to people like Onsung to make it available to all of us worship leaders to add uh, awesome features to our worship ministry to make things easier. And uh, and it's great to be able to, to multitask and to have it do the chord charts and also run uh, core sound pads at the same time. So thanks again, everyone. We'll see you later.